I think the original 935 became an icon, so to speak, not only of its racing successes, because of just the way it looked. Our part with the flat nose started in July of uh, 2017, where we had about three or four days to come up with some drawings for what the new 935 could look like. We have as a basis the GT2 RS motor, 700 PS Leistung, and the PDK Getriebe. Beides haben wir leicht modifiziert und an so kleinen Schrauben gedreht, um das Fahrzeug noch rennstreckentauglicher zu machen als der GT2 RS, ohnehin schon. When we first designed the car, it was very important that the front grills 100% taken over, which is also the place where we uh, integrated the, the front headlamps. Uh, what was also important for us is, of course, the car has a long tail. And it's whether it's the old version or this version, you look inside that long tail underneath and it's kind of a tunnel effect and all in black you see the original uh, 911 underneath it. So it's like a car inside a car. Das Besondere für uns als Motorsportler ist, dass wir von Anfang an im Studio in einem Designprozess gearbeitet haben und nicht allein im Windkanal das Fahrzeug gemacht haben und sind dann aber sehr synchron in großen Schritten ähm, an das Fahrzeug gegangen, sodass Design und Entwicklung der Karosseriebauteile quasi parallel stattgefunden hat. 935, what I'm proud on is uh, finally that we really did it. I think we have a lot of ideas behind that. It was a small team making that, that they really had all the enthusiasm, all the passion to make it in a very short time and that we convinced really everybody in the company. Finally, the car is here in time and the feedback we get from the press, from the fans is unbelievable. And that's definitely something I can be proud of. It's unbelievable. I think the, the feedback we got from the fans here, also my phone is ringing all the time from potential customers. Feedback is really good. People are overwhelmed and it was a real secret and a uh, big surprise. The, the advantage is we could do a lot of things in digital. So no appearance of the car outside. And then we did all testing kept in a very small group. Um, only in the last weeks, so there was not really a chance to, to hear something and then within our R&D center we are used to keep our secrets. Well, uh, we wanted to keep the, the aero balance of a cup car, and so we had to design that. Not really a challenge, but a hell of work in uh, the aero tunnel, in uh, computer simulation to achieve this aerodynamics. Flat nose was this, this uh, rough cutout of the, the most important look of a 911, the headlights, and the racers cut it off uh, some 40 years ago. Um, that's why the internal name was always flat nose and long tail, as we have the extension of the tail. Um, and then in, when the project was progressing, we said, okay, what will be the name for the car? So we decided for 935. Well, if you look around here, you see the crowd, the passion of everything. You see that it's really part of our DNA, of our heart, is racing. And we are racing. We're not only a company for 70 years, we're also racing for 70 years. That's all, it's always been a part. Uh, racing inspires our, race, our, our street cars. Every new car is inspired by a race car. So um, I think that's just part of the story. It's part of our daily life. And that's why it's important, and that's why we will never stop it. I, I really think we have a tremendous growth in our customer racing. Um, we have seen our RSRs competing in the world, winning Le Mans this year, an outstanding event, outstanding race. And we see really a con continuation of this. And then we add Formula E, something completely new, looking also in a new type of racing. 
um, and, and coming for the street car because then we have a link to our Taycan in the future. So I think a lot of interesting things are going on. A lot of projects I cannot talk at the moment, um, nature of the thing. Um, so really motorsport will continue and we'll have a lot of new ideas also in the future. You know, Ren Sport's such an amazing event. I've been to every one except for the first one. And uh, this one's a little special because I'm here driving myself, uh, you know, in a couple of Porsches. I've got a 935 that I'm driving and also an Elba Porsche. So, totally excited. Yeah, the 935 I'm driving was a 77, 78 Le Mans uh, entry car. It's the Micarello's uh, 935 single turbo car. Uh, just restored by Gunner Racing, engine was just done by Motorsport, so a little bit of uh, dialing in that session, so I did a couple recon laps, uh, but got a couple of good laps, and it's going to be great. It's not going to be a front-running car, it's not like the twin turbo cars that'll run up front, but it's a good, solid uh, mid-pack car, so it's going to be great. You know, being out here with all these amazing cars, it, it's really what dreams are made of. You know, I've spent my whole life around Porsche, and to get a chance to be out there with my friends and you know this amazing hardware it's just uh, it's like a big family reunion and uh, it just it's hard to describe Porsche really means everything to me I was uh, brought home from the hospital in 1974 in a short wheelbase 911 uh, I uh, started I, my the first car I ever drove was a, a 911 when I was under 10 years old and uh, I started racing a Porsche 356 when I was 14, and I've made my life's work around the brand. So uh, really, uh, you know, everything in my life is family, faith, and Porsches, and that's uh, really uh, what, you know, I'm made of. Rensport Reunion is, is the biggest, most exciting Porsche event, at least on U.S. soil. And every three to four years, we get an opportunity to start prepping uh, and getting all the cars ready. And it, it really is. It's, uh, it's, Ren, Rensport Reunion is really like the Super Bowl for all of us uh, Porsche, you know, enthusiasts. So, uh, yeah, lots of prep work. Everybody wants their cars here. Everybody wants to be here. And, uh, you know, I'm just honored to be a part of it. The new Porsche 935 hit the racing reunion event 2018 and shocked all the fans. But what happened in the weeks and months before the revelation? Porsche provides unprecedented insights into the inner workings of the development team. I think the original 935 became an icon, so to speak, not only of its racing successes because of just the way it looked. Modell, äh, den, den Prototyp aufgebaut haben und das quasi schon äh, synchron mit dem Fahrzeug auf, auf Rennstrecken testen und äh, die Technik dazu entwickeln. Als wir den Projektsteckbrief sahen, war der voll gespickt mit feinster Rennsporttechnik und es war eigentlich zu diesem Zeitpunkt nicht vorstellbar, wie wir das Fahrzeug hier in der Produktion fertigen können. Wir haben uns mit einer kleinen Projektmannschaft zusammengesetzt und haben dann untersucht, wie wir dieses Fahrzeug unter Seenbedingungen herstellen können. Und da war natürlich ein Erstaunen und Begeisterung, wie soll das gehen und wie können wir diese Rennsportteile hier in dieses Fahrzeug einbauen. Und es wurde nach Lösungen gesucht und mit viel Emotionen an dem Fahrzeug und an den Problemen gearbeitet. Das ist so ein emotionales und besonderes Fahrzeug beschränkt auf 77 Einheiten und äh, da werden wir uns noch lange daran erinnern und äh, von daher außergewöhnlich. Es ist einfach was Besonderes. Wir haben jetzt hier wirklich kein reines Wettbewerbsfahrzeug, wo wir jetzt eine bestimmte Routenzeitvorgabe haben, wo wir ja, schauen wollen, wie das Auto im Vergleich da ist und es soll einfach Spaß machen, es soll Emotionen hervorrufen. So ein Roller ist halt da, einfach den Funktionscheck zu machen, ob alles in Ordnung ist. Man guckt einfach, dass alles an seinem Platz ist und dann gibt er die ersten Eindrücke einfach wieder.
sensationell, war unheimlich viel Spaß. Es war genau so, wie wir es erwartet haben. Es ist einfach ein sehr emotionales Auto, toller Sound, unheimlich viel Schub. Dieses Knallen an der Auspuffanlage, diesen Turbo-Boost, wenn du es einfach hörst und spürst. Wir haben als Basis den GT2 RS Motor, 700 PS Leistung und das PDK-Getriebe. Beides haben wir leicht modifiziert und an so kleinen Schrauben gedreht, um das Fahrzeug noch rennstreckentauglicher zu machen als der GT2 RS. Ohnehin. Porsche has unveiled the new 935 on the occasion of the historic Rennsport Reunion Motorsport event at Laguna Seca Raceway in California. The race car's technology for clubs, port events and private training on racetracks is based on the 911 GT2 RS high-performance sports car. Like its historic predecessor, most of the body has been replaced or supplemented by carbon fiber composite parts. The spectacular aerodynamics is a completely new development and pays tribute to the Porsche 935 Seventh State Le Mans race car, which fans dubbed Moby Dick due to its elongated shape, massive fairings and white base color. The distinctive wheel arch air vents on the front fairings, which also feature on the GT3 Porsche 911 GT3 R customer vehicle, increase downforce at the front axle. Measuring 1,909 mm in width by 400 mm in depth, the rear wing lends aerodynamic balance. These references are carried through to the cockpit. The knob on the gear shift lever has a laminated wood design and is reminiscent of races such as the 917, the 909 Berg Spider and the Carrera GT Super Sports car. The carbon steering wheel and the color display behind it have been taken from the 911 GT3R from the 2019 model year. A massive safety cage combined with a racing bucket seat and a six-point safety harness ensure maximum safety. A second seat for the passenger is available as an optional extra. Air conditioning provides optimal cooling of the interior. The new 935 is powered by a state-of-the-art 3.8-liter six-cylinder twin-turbo engine, which is largely identical to the high-performance standard unit mounted in the road legal 911 GT2 RS. Power is transferred to the rear engine via a seven-speed Porsche PDK with rigid gearbox suspension at the 310mm wide rear axle. Like in the GT Road models of the 911, the driver changes gears via conveniently positioned shift paddles on the steering wheel. Typical of the 911, the weight distribution ensures excellent traction and braking performances. Six-piston aluminium monoblock racing calipers on the front axle in combination with internally ventilated and grooved steel brake discs with a 380mm diameter provide excellent deceleration values at the front axle. The rear axle is fitted with four-piston calipers and 355mm discs. Like the road legal 911 GT2 RS, the 1380 kg 935 is equipped with PSM including traction control as well as an ABS. Thanks to a so-called map switch, these assistance systems can be adjusted separately or switched off completely, depending on the driving situation.